First and foremost, I'm a I'm a conservationist, I'm an environmentalist, I'm passionate about our, our natural environment. The local area that I go into lots at the moment is the Abel Tasman and um, just the predator control and everything that's happening there now is absolutely phenomenal. The bird life, the insect life, you know, you see live snails on, on the sides of the tracks. Um, the, yeah, you hear the birds all the time, yeah. It's, it's fantastic and I take kids in there because I've been a primary school teacher so I'm involved in taking children in as well and um, they're, yeah, even they are blown away by and I hope that they realise actually how lucky they are because they've been involved in a lot of the releases of the, of the birds and seeing the difference that all the trapping, all the laying of 1080 what that does for the wildlife it's incredible that you can go and release things now that they survive and yeah i don't think that 1080 is the be all and end all but at the moment it's the it's the tool in our toolbox that is allowing all this hard work of people reintroducing things and giving those those birds those those native species it's not just the birds it's actually all our little insects the snails you know, things that people don't actually see. They're not glorified, they're not, they're not big bright coloured things, they're, they're just little wee creatures that, and we need them all. And once they're gone, they're, they're gone. And I know the, the death that happens with 1080 isn't very pretty, but then neither is being eaten alive by a stoat. And I have actually seen stoats do the killing, and they do, they are killing machines. They're, they're designed to kill. The fact that there's so much research gone in even before um, you know, trapping lines are put in in places, it's not just a willy-nilly thing that, you know, oh, let's go and do one, you know, let's go and drop all this poison all around everywhere. No, it doesn't happen like that. There's a lot of background work that goes into it. And then when it actually happens, it's, it's all targeted. It's all GPSed. They know exactly where, where it's all going. They know how much is, is being dropped. Um, yes, maybe the odd one does get dropped in the wrong, you know, wrong place. It might, you know, maybe it's a bit windy or whatever and something goes into the wrong, wrong area. They have people on the ground who will go around and, and remove them and, and yeah, it's, it's a huge, yeah, they're huge operations. I think they're actually really well, really well managed and it does give our wildlife a minor chance that maybe when you go into the bush in 20 years time you'll hear the bird song like Captain Cook used to hear. But it's only with everything, with the trapping, the 1080, everything in the toolbox will it make a difference. One thing on its own probably won't, but yeah, everything. <laughs>